Well, hi. Today I have a, another story to share. This one is also on fractions and it goes out to Jonah. I understand uh, he's working on fractions right now, which is a very, very uh, difficult concept. Uh, I'm going to share a story that I, I absolutely love. I love the character, the two main characters. So you can ask your kids who those are. And I like that special relationship that they have throughout the story. Um, the vocabulary is amazing. Uh, I want you to go back with your, uh, with Jonah and with ever other children and uh, look at the different ways that the alligators approached and look at the way uh, the dialogue uh, evolves. Um, plus, it really helps uh, explain about fractions, which I think is, is awesome. Anyhow, here we go. This is Gator Pie. And it is written by Louise Matthews, was, and pictures are by Jenny Bassett. And again, Gator Pie. I hope you enjoy it, Jonah. This is Alvin, and this is Alice. One day, they found a pie on a table near the edge of the swamp. It was a whole pie that had not been cut. I wonder what kind it is, said Alice. Let's eat it and find out, cried Alvin. So they have a whole pie. Don't grab, said Alice, slapping his paw. I'll cut it first. Now let's see, said Alice. There are two of us, so we need two pieces. Then cut two halves, said Alvin. Notice those two pieces are equal. Fractions have to have equal parts. But before they could cut the pie, an angry alligator stomped up with a nasty look in his eye. Give me some pie, he growled. Three gators, gulped Alice. That means three pieces. Cut three one-thirds, muttered Al. Here we see. Now they're thinking of how they're going to have to cut that pie. Since there are three of them, they'll have to cut it in thirds. But before they cut it, a new gator came and slithered onto the bench. Eating pie, he asked with a terrible grin. His teeth looked very sharp. Yes, yes, said Alice. That means four pieces, Al groaned and grunted. Cut four one-fourths. Four equal parts equal fourths. And if you have four fourths, you still have that whole pie. But before they did, can you figure out what's happening, gonna happen next? Four gators appeared, swaggering like gangsters. Hello, little gators, they said with a sneer. We hear you're giving out pie. Oh, muttered Alice, I guess we are. She counted their fat, warty tails. Eight gators, eight pieces, she said to Al. Oh, cut eight one-eighths, he grumbled. But before she did, and now look at the pieces. The pieces are getting smaller because they're having to share with more people, more gators. Splash, sputter, and crash, 
A ton of gators marched out of the swamp like an army. We've come to get our pie, they said. Their wet scales flashed like armor in the sun. Alice's teeth were clickety-clack in her snout. Why, yes, of course, she gasped. Pie, pie for everyone. In haste, she started counting tails. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, while the gators started to argue. I bet you a crayfish. It's lemon pie. I say banana. No, pumpkin. You're wrong, it's pineapple. You're crazy, it's butterscotch. They were shouting louder and louder. Ninety, eight, ninety-nine, one hundred, said Alice. Oh my, a hundred pieces, she sighed. Oh, look at that pie. Can you even see those little bitty slivers? You'll have to cut one hundred one hundredths, Al groaned, trying to think in all that noise. Oh, oh, said Alice, that will be hard. If they think I've cut the pie unfairly, they will start an awful fight. And I don't know that I could cut a pie into a hundred equal pieces. It took a long time to cut the pie into one hundred slices. Alice did her very best to make each piece the same size. Do you think that would be a challenge? To cut them all the same size, a hundred equal parts? Oh dear, Alice whispered when she finished. The pieces are so tiny. Too tiny, said Alvin. Suddenly, Alvin jumped up on the table. He pointed to the pie. Pick a piece, he shouted. We're not sure they are all the same size. Don't say that, squeaked Alice in a fright. But Alvin winked at her. Alvin had a plan. I'll take this piece, said the smiley gator, sliding his paw towards the pie. No, you won't, snarled the fattest gator, biting his tail. Then the fattest gator reached for a slice. Somebody pulled him down. Soon they were kicking, scratching, snarling, snapping, chomping, and stomping on tails. Ninety-eight growling gators were fighting for the biggest slice. Why weren't there a hundred? Think about it. Alvin and Alice held their breaths. Then Alvin nudged Alice. Now, he cried, grab the pie. They skittered past the pile of twisting gators and raced off into the swamp. All by themselves, they divided up the pie. Piece by piece, fair and square. They each got, how many slices would they need to have half of the pie? You're right. They each needed 50 slices, exactly one half of the pie. That was better than one eighth or one fourth or even one third of the pie. And it was much, much better than one hundredth, which is just a tiny sliver. How lucky for us, said Alice, that it was our favorite kind. Yes, Alvin said. 
chocolate marshmallow. So I hope you enjoyed this book. I hope it helps you uh, with, com with some comprehension on fractions. Uh, fractions are really challenging because as, uh, as our numbers get larger, our pieces get smaller, which is really contrary to what we've been learning all along. So moms and dads and whoever's working with your little one right now, um, be very patient and give them a lot of examples because it is a very challenging concept. Hope you have a great day and uh, enjoy your Holy Week.